studies are well known American black belt. And uh, I was bored to tears because he made us practice the hook and sickle sweep for an hour. And I was like, Christ, I just want to go home and eat something. I'm over it. Um, but it taught me a really important lesson because I'm very lazy by nature that doing, sometimes being forced to do what you need to do, not what you want to do, is really, really good for your jiu-jitsu. And some of the reps are vital in terms of you being able to execute because now that hook and sickle sweep combination I see everywhere, okay? So I hope you see, like we're about halfway through, a little over halfway through. As we do more reps and go back and forth, it's just drilling this into you so that you have better access to your outcomes, all right? We don't have time to go over all the different ways, but this should give you a good template so that you can insert a lot of different outcomes into your jujitsu. All right, clear? So, I had a, a couple over here say, when the partner put her hands on the ground, this doesn't feel natural at all. It feels awful. And I was like, don't worry, it's jujitsu. It'll, it'll feel better to you in a little while. So you have two options. You're either gonna put your hands down or you're gonna stand up. Right? And you might start here or you might go there after putting your hands on the ground, but it's one of the two choices you have. We talked a little bit earlier about tension and slack. Everything is a spectrum. We need to have a balance of, or I shouldn't say a balance, we need to have a harmony between both. That means sometimes there's gonna be 70% slack, 30% tension. Other times there might be 90% tension, 10% slack. We wanna use that spectrum to our advantage. So. I'm going to demonstrate this from a static position, but really this would be dynamic. It would be used as my partner goes to stand. But from the basic X guard position, if my partner is standing, I don't want to have 80% tension dropping my leg down to her ankle for this sweep. Because if I do this, it actually sets off alarm bells in Claire and she goes, oh, I got to tense up. She's going to do something to me. And this is something that I see in a lot of jujitsu at an earlier stage is that people are fighting with too much tension. So your partner's always on guard and so are you and you're both exhausted after five minutes. So to make it more effective, we want to reduce the tension in the inside leg. I'm, make, I'm going to make, maybe make it 20, 30% and I'm just going to drop it almost like a wet noodle so she doesn't get her alarm bells going. And then from here, when I'm ready to sweep her, I'm going to take you backwards, my toes that are hooked around her pelvis and my uh, toes that are hooked around her heels are going to go opposite ways so that those, knee, those strings in the knees that we talked about earlier are going to pull apart. And when I pull apart, she falls backwards. And right here, once again, I look for the heel, I have the kneecap, and I come up. For those of us that are a bit more advanced, we want the kneecap, we don't want the quad. Because if I have the kneecap, as I come up, it gives me better control for a tighter path. So if I'm here and I'm grabbing her quad, maybe she's gonna circle her leg around my face, boom. If I have her leg over my shoulder and I have the kneecap, circle your leg, I have better control over the leg. And then I switch the leg, the handling of the kneecap, I pop over and it comes through. Okay. The pass is not necessarily the uh, technique here, but that's just to give you an example of the small detail that you wanna pay attention to. Okay, so get it. We're starting from the X guard. Right? Our partner may already be standing or really they might have their hands on the ground for balance and as they stand up, you drop the leg, boom, you come up. Okay, so if you are figuring this out, do it from a static position. If you'd like to add a little bit more dynamic energy into it, put your hands on the floor, take them up. Hands on the floor, take them up. Tension, slack, tension, slack. Okay, one, two, three. 